What's going on guys? It's Jake. So we had the latest episode of Beyblade Burst Sparking come out in the last couple of days and I was going to review it but for the most part besides like a couple of minutes the episode was just kind of a lot of talking so I decided not to review it but we're gonna review a specific part of it and talk about the new Tempest Dragon coming out here in just a few weeks. So let's just get right on to the the the, the talk, I guess. <laughs> Before we talk about the episode a little bit and talk about Tempest, if we could hit 500 likes on this video, that would be amazing. And hit that subscribe button if you have not joined the Nook Nation. Also, if you want to skip right to the Tempest Dragon talk, go to right here in the time code down below. But anyways, let's talk about the episode. So the episode starts off with a lot of talking. But anyways, the episode starts, Hyuga and Hikaru are talking about how just how strong Lane is and how Lane was able to beat uh, Louie in the last episode and then we get a flashback to when Hyuga actually battled Lean or Lane Lean and we all know what happened then he definitely lost and yeah he did his bay got burst and it was really unfortunate and we're just learning about just how strong lean is which is kind of the whole purpose of this episode and then after this there is a bit of a talk between the characters and rentaru and renjiro uh hyuga runs off and screams he meet up he meets up with his dad which kind of makes him chill out a little bit and where the episode gets really crazy is when there's actually a talk between vault and shu about lean and this is where it's actually interesting in my opinion you see shu actually talks to vault about just how strong lean was whenever they first met and this is whenever lean was actually using first uranus or uranus so uh, however you want to pronounce it and he was just destroying bays left and right and he was kind of crazy with his bay resonance and at one point he even battles free and um you might know how this battle ends up you know lean does win this and in the manga at least freeze bay geist fafnir gets destroyed but in the anime it doesn't really show that it's just kind of left up to interpretation sort of but shu is shocked by this because it's crazy how strong this new blader is and at one point while shu is walking down the halls he walks upon lean developing his variant lucifer which is i guess an evil bay and it just kind of shows how evil lean is becoming overall and that is kind of where the episode ends off but as you guys probably know the big august release right now is of course the tempest dragon triple set which means that drum is going to show up in the anime at some point and in the preview of next episode he does show up and we get some kind of funny screenshots so now guys we're gonna seg you we're gonna seg you but now we're actually going to segue on to the Tempest Dragon triple set. Now that we know Drum is going to be popping up pretty soon. I talked about it in my last video, but it was just kind of like rough pictures from Koro Koro. But now we actually have really good high quality screenshots and we're going to take a look at those. The set is going to be a little over 4,100 yen. So going over the kind of bays that don't really matter that much, we have Curse Satan, which is cool because, like I said, Curse Satan is a bay that we only got in a random booster. And while this is like a flipped color scheme in that it is green and yellow with purple stickers, and I think it's kind of ugly, kind of, at least you do get Curse Satan and you also get the chassis it was supposed to come with. The next one is Naked Diabolos, and this one is pretty interesting as well, because Naked is a layer base that we got in a random booster prize, so it is pretty rare. Diabolos is not really as rare, but something that is crazy is that we are getting the layer weight Goku, which was in an extremely rare, like at one point getting Goku would cost you like, $500. That is how expensive it was. And now we're getting it in a normal release. And so if you guys want a really rare part, now you can get it for pretty cheap overall. And Naked Diabolos actually has a brand new driver called WV 
or wave and just looking at a picture of this driver it seems like it's going to be kind of really good for life after death or lad or lad however you want to say it and pretty much i guess it's going to be kind of free spinning or maybe one part of it's going to be free spinning and the main thing is going to be keeping balance and spinning at least a little bit for a little bit longer of a time so maybe this driver will be competitive i'm not really sure but now guys we actually get on to tempest dragon which is the main bay in this set and like i said in my last video and as you guys may know it kind of has two major modes an awakened and non-awakened mode so the full combo for this bay is tempest dragon on 1a with charge metal so the charge is the same as we got on uh, ace dragon back in gt but pretty much everything is metal now which you know kind of makes sense because of charge metal 1a is just a blue recolor of something we had on super hyperion so not really anything crazy new but where we get into the real stuff is the layer and ring so the ring like i said has an awakened and non-awakened mode so whenever you first get it none of the blades are popping out and honestly it looks really circular circular to the point to where i wonder if the non-awakened mode will be better in competitions than the awakened mode just kind of something to think about but as you battle it that is when the blades actually pop out and the blades seem to be pretty significant overall so guys now that we know how the layer actually looks overall i really dig it like overall the dragon chip isn't anything new and it kind of looks similar to imperial dragon's chip but the bay in general looks really colorful we have yellow green blue white purple it's just really cool i, I like the way it looks i do wish we would have gotten a new chassis though because 1a is just kind of it's really not that old guys but it would be nice to get a new chassis here but we didn't so eh, whatever and also this is kind of unrelated to dragon but i was also kind of thinking that we would get a spriggan pretty soon because we see Shu pop up in the show as of like three episodes ago so like getting close to a month ago guys and we don't have pictures of a new spriggan so are we even going to get one maybe it'll be something that comes out in september but i'm starting to worry that maybe Shu will pop up in the show but won't actually have his own bay. Lord Spriggan came out and Shu wasn't in GT like, at all. But he had but there was a Beyblade there. And now that we're in Sparking, it'd be kind of crazy if Shu popped up in the show, but he didn't have a Beyblade. I really want there to be a new Spriggan. But it's just kind of weird that we have a dragon already, but no Spriggan. I, I, that's odd. Maybe they're saving it for a couple of months from now or something. And that's gonna wrap up this video guys overall what do you think of tempest dragon this is probably the last video i'm going to make about it until they you know takara tomi makes their own video battling it or showing the parts off differently or something and i just wanted to tell you guys all about this new set and also kind of sort of review this latest episode even though not much really happened at all but let me know what you guys think of tempest dragon and let me know what you guys think of drum coming back in beyblade burst in the comments down below if you like this video hit that like button hit subscribe to join the nook nation and i'll see you guys in the next one have fun and bay away.